Hello, welcome to Gynecology MCQ for Physiotherapist. Here, we will be discussing clinically relevant gynecology condition with the help of MCQs. Let's do not waste much time. Let's move to our first question. The average blood loss resulting from menstruation is Option A 10 to 15 ml Option B 25 to 50 ml Option C 75 to 100 ml Option D 101 to 125 ml And the answer is Option B 25 to 50 ml Now let's move to question number 2 Fibroids can result in Option A Menarchia Option B Polycytemia Option C Constipation Option D Infertility And the answer is Option D Infertility Moving to question number 3 Structures which prevent the prolapse of the uterus and vagina include Option A. Levator Annie Muscle Option B. Urethra Sacral Ligament Option C. Cardinal Ligaments Option D. Round Ligaments And the answer is Option A. Levator Annie Muscle Now let's move to question number 4. The major support of uterus are Option A. The Transcervical Cardinal Ligaments Option B. The Urethro Sacral Ligaments Option C. Pubico Cervical Ligaments Option D, the infundibular pelvic ligaments. And the answer is Option A, transfer cervical ligaments. Now let's move to question number 5. The commonest site to affect by genital tuberculosis is Option A, the ovaries. Option B, the fallopian tubes. Option C, the uterus. Option D, the cervix. And the answer is Option B, the fallopian tubules. Now let's move to question number 6. Urethrovisceral fistula usually presents with Option A, amenorrhea. Option B, menorrhea. Option C, dysmenorrhea. Option D, terminal hematuria. And the answer is Option B, menorrhea. Moving to question number 7. Intramural fibroid mainly cause Option A. Intramenstrual bleeding Option B. Postcoital bleeding Option C. Postmenopausal bleeding Option D. Menarchia And the answer is Option D. Menarchia Moving to question number 8 The most common benign mass of the cervix and the endrocervix is Option A. Polyp Option B. Leomyoma Option C, Nobitian cyst. Option D, cervical hood. And the answer is Option A, polyp. Moving to question number 9. The most important suspensory mechanism of urethra is Option A, anterior pubeo-urethral ligaments. Option B, intramediated pubeo-urethral ligaments. Option D, posterior pubeo-urethral ligaments. Option D, pubeo-cervical fascia. And the answer is Option C, posterior pubeo-urethral ligaments. Moving to question number 10. The most common primary site of atypical secondary metastasis to the ovary is Option A, stomach. Option B, lungs. Option C, colon. Option D, breast. And the answer is Option A, stomach. Moving to question number 11. The cancer ovary commonly present by Option A, abdominal swelling. Option B, menstrual disturbance. Option C, gastrointestinal upset. Option D, urinary retention. And the answer is Option B, menstrual disturbance. Moving to question number 12. Risk factor for cancer ovary is Option A, family history of cancer colon. Option B, use of progesterone by injectable contraception. Option C, use of oral contraceptive pills. Option D, multiparity. And the answer is Option A, family history of cancer column. Moving to question number 13, menopause could be diagnosed by Option A, history of absent menstruation. Option B, high FSH in young age group. Option C, absent menstruation for one year at the age of 52 years. Option D, hot flesh and lack of sleep and the answer is 
Option C, absent of menstruation for one year at the age of 52 years. Now let's move to question number 14. The following bacterial infection may be sexually transmitted. Option A, Nisria gonococci. Option B, Gardenella vaginalis. Option C, Tepinema pellidium. Option D, Trigonosa vaginalis. And the answer is Option D, Trigonomosa vaginalis. Now let's move to question number 15. The nerve supply of vulva and peritoneum is derived from the following nerve. Option A. Pudendal. Option B. Genitofemoral. Option C. Posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Option D. Obturator nerve. And the answer is... Option A. Pudendal. Thank you for watching till the end. If you have any doubts, please comment below. And within few days, we will be back with another MCQ session. So do subscribe to this channel for watching that video. Thank you.